There's something about a tapered finish that looks amazing. And this video is all about how I can help you get that finished look. This is the raw material that we're working with, the blank canvas. And I want to turn it into something like this. This is the finished article. It's clean, it's pristine, it disappears into the back of the neck, it really pops. And I'm going to show you the techniques just now that I use to create this look. Before I begin, I'm going to take the fading blade off the clipper that I've got on it at the moment and replace it with a tapering blade. The tapering blade has an angle on the back of it and that allows me to rock the clipper. This rocking motion that I'm using is quite useful when you're doing a taper. I want to show you a couple of angles here of the first part of the taper. I'm going to make a straight line across the back about one inch higher than the hairline and I'm doing this with a zero. You can see at the back of the neck that there's always a low point in the middle. So what I do is I bring the low point up to match in with the sides of the nape. So let me just pop up into the corner of the screen here and talk you through what I'm doing. I'm moving the lever to the half position on the clipper and then slightly move it higher while rocking the bottom of the clipper down. You see how the bottom of the machine moves down slightly and that gives me a higher line which is also softer as I move up and it's about half an inch higher than the last line but quite importantly is that dropping down technique. So we've made a first line with a zero and then a slightly higher line with a half. Let's move the lever to the midway point between the zero and the half and just move up not as high as we did with the half. This is just to remove any kind of line that might appear with the difference between the zero and the half. So now I've got my number one guard on and I want you to pay close attention here to the movement of the clipper. It moves up and rocks at the same time. So you move the clipper in and rock it at the same time. Look at this here. As you can see, the hair is actually growing to the side. It's not growing straight down. So what I need to do is I go, need to go at an angle, but I'm using the corner of the clipper. This is really important when you do this side. You've got to go in at an angle and lift one corner off. Otherwise, you're going to go too high on your taper and spoil it. These areas at the side of the nape are going to be really important when we finish the cut. Again, you can see it on this side, the same thing. Now, while you watch me do this, I just want to say that I made a straight line at the bottom to start with. And the reason that I made a straight line at the bottom was because a straight line is a more masculine shape. Feminine shapes can be softer and rounder, whereas uh, gents' shapes tend to be squarer. Now, look at this area here. I've detected a slightly dark line there. So I've put the shortest guard that I have on the clipper again. And I'm going to use that just to flick a little bit into the taper. As you can see. And this just removes that little dark line. So finally, I'm going to cut with the longest guard position of this particular cut. That's the one with the lever pushed all the way forward. This is the one and a half position. So I want to show you another technique here that I use to stabilize the clippers. What I use is my finger, my first finger and my forefinger to stabilize the clipper as I cut. And remember the bottom of the clipper rocks down. You see that rock in motion? So when I pinch the clipper, I almost roll it with my fingers. Let me demonstrate this and I may just speed a little bit up for you as well. So I'm just rocking the clipper. Be very careful not to go higher than the occipital bone. Now 
Now that I've done this with a one and a half, what I want to do is I want to get to the, my favourite part of the cut. This is the best bit. This is where we refine it and it starts to look really good. So I'm going to make a line starting up at the top of the ear and I just want to take a little bit, maybe about half a millimetre inside the hairline and I'm going to make this line completely straight heading down towards the nape of the neck. Then when I flip the, clip, the clipper over, the little trimmer, and just push up just slightly under the line that I've made but not cutting any hair away, okay? And this is going to start to make it look much cleaner. These lines that I make at the side are all about framing the taper. They make a beautiful frame for your taper. It looks so crisp if you can get some really sharp straight lines on there. So on this skin here, you can almost not see any stubble at all. But let's get the foil shaver out and really clean that up so that we get all the stubble any dark patches and remove it all. Now, finally at the back, what I want to do is, I want to show you a special technique that I use. It's a dabbing technique where you sort of dab down and that stops you taking all the stubble away. It just softens the stubble a little bit. And this is the real fine tuning here. This is the, the most delicate work where you're being very, very careful. You want it to just disappear into the neck. Now listen guys, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this tapering video and found some useful tips in it. I'm Michael Holm, I've been the One Minute Barber and I hope to see you all again soon.